Welcome to the Sarawak General Hospital ONG Department. Today, we present to you a step-by-step -step guide on how to perform the caesarean section. Firstly, the OT checklist board must be filled correctly and the antibiotics prepared. Ensure proper technique of scrubbing and gumming and then the area of the abdomen is clean with povidone from the incision side first and last to the perineum. Before the incision is made, test the incision site to ensure that the spinal analgesia is in effect. Identify and determine the incision site and size. Do take note that the size of the incision may vary depending on the indication of the caesarean section and the level of difficulty that can be anticipated. And then a scalpel is used to make the skin incision. The abdomen is open in layers using the diatomy or the blade. When opening the rector sheet, ensure that it is adequately separated and any bleeding must be secured between the rector sheet and the muscle to prevent hematoma. Gently open the peritoneum using two artery forceps. Next, separate and push the rectus abdominis muscle laterally for adequate exposure so that the lower segment of the gravid uterus can be seen clearly. The doyen retractor is then applied. Next, the urethrovesicular fold is identified and separated using a non-tooth forcep and maximum scissors. Push the urinary bladder inferiorly and maintain retraction using the doyen retractor. An incision is then made using a blade initially until the whole thickness of the muscle is cut out. Do not use the scissors up to the amniotic membrane. Rupture the amniotic membrane using the artery forceps. The incision then can be extended bilaterally by cutting the biometrium using the maximum scissors. Take note to protect the structure underlying and ensure not to tear the myometrium bluntly. The doyen retractor is then removed and the baby is then delivered gently 
fundal pressure may be employed to facilitate delivery of the baby. Clear the baby's airway by suctioning and then the umbilical cord is clamped Carefully cut the umbilical cord, ensure that no other structures are caught in between. The baby is then handed over to the pediatric team for resuscitation. The cord blood is then taken. The same procedure is then applied for the delivery of the second twin. After delivery of the second twin, suction and remove blood from the operative field. The placenta is then delivered by control cord traction. Identify the incision site by applying the Amitage. Take note to apply the Amitage at the angle of the incision site and at the bleeding areas. Explore the uterine cavity and remove any residual membrane or placenta tissue. Start closing the uterine incision at the angle. It is advised to bite at least 1 cm beyond the angle bilaterally and ensure to make 2 bites at the angle and firmly secure with the hand tie. Any polyglactin sutures size 1 can be used, for example, the Ycryl or Ecosop. Suture the first layer using the continuous interlocking technique until you reach the other angle. Apply the second suture and proceed to close the second layer using the continuous suture technique.
ensure not to incorporate the bladder and visceral layer while closing the uterus. Preferably, it is advisable to exteriorize the uterus for better visualization of the angle and bleeding identification while repairing the uterus. Next, proceed to inspect the fallopian tubes as well as the ovaries bilaterally. Ensure that the hemostasis is secured. Next, identify the rectus sheet and start closing the rectus sheet using the continuous suture technique. For the rectus sheet closure, any absorbable polyglactin suture, for example the Vicryl or Ecosop size one, can be used. Then proceed to close the abdomen in layers. The skin is then closed using the subcuticular technique. You can use the monofilament suture like the Monosin 30 or Nylon 30 for the skin closure. The operative site is then clean and the dressing applied. Lastly, clean the perineum and remove the residual blood clots from the vagina. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has been beneficial for you. For more information, you can contact the Sarawak General Hospital ONG Department.